How are you guys? So come on. So today we're doing a little bit of a different video than what we normally do. We decided to talk about the recent school shooting in Texas. Um, so we wanted to talk about a little bit about that and um, kind of compare America and India as far as violence and, and gun, gun laws and, and things like that. So most of you have probably heard about the school shooting that happened in Texas on May 24th. Um, and a lot of times when these school shootings happen, several of you will contact us and ask if America is safe to live. Um, so yeah. what, do you, what do you think about that? <laughs> do you feel like America is safe? It is. It is safe to live. That depends upon where you are. And it's same like in India everywhere. Like you can tell when you are um, at a place that you don't feel comfortable. Like those are everywhere. Yeah. In America, there is some places that you feel like, okay, that's, I shouldn't go there. Um, you can tell that. I, in India too, uh, you probably can tell, okay, I shouldn't be going there. Like it's, you know, it's probably not going to wind up very well. Yeah, or in the U.S., there's certain cities or places that people from that area know that are higher crimes or they have a high murder rate so people you know tend to stay away from that area if they have no reason to be there yeah most of the time if you are from there you know which area is yeah. good which area is bad um it's when somebody coming from outside that's the only time like but still you can tell from the from the outlook of that area it's safe or not i think overall as as a whole i feel like america is is pretty safe i don't leave the house and feel like i'm not safe yeah but just like anywhere there's always things that can happen and you just know that things can happen at any time and you can't predict those but overall i think america is is safe yeah recently like uh we hear a lot of um murders like this yeah. that 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 concerns you when you hear it um, especially after COVID, like a two year shutdown. I don't know the reason, like in the last three or four weeks, we heard so many and it's, it, it just worries you too. That's, yeah. Cause you never yeah. know when it's going to affect your hometown. Yeah. It could happen at any time. So, but that is if it safety concerns, like you don't feel, you know, threatened yeah. to go out. Not anything. on our daily, yeah, basis. daily basis. The recent school shooting was in Texas and, um, it happened. He was an 18 year old guy. Um, he had just turned 18 and had, I think the day after he turned 18, went to purchase two assault rifles and a, a large number of ammun ammunition. Um, and he went to this elementary school and he killed 19 children and two adults. And then um, he was eventually killed as well by, by an officer. Um, and I was reading online that and a lot of schools now, since there are so many school shootings, the schools typically put into place a shooter, active shooter plan. Um, so the kids will know what to do in case that were to ever happen. And we asked Aleka if, if her school has done that yet, and they've not yeah. not had a drill like that yet they but, have other other yeah. things that they do because for emergencies. When I, yeah when i was in school mm -hmm. they had that there like they have the drill like they will when i was in college for a shooter yeah that oh. time like they even like do that mm -hmm. um, so i thought like that's very yeah very good they will let you um uh, have that experience of what you should do in schools and colleges um they will go once or twice a year like and but with all this in place till it happens you yeah. know yeah and, and I was reading that this school in Texas, they had a lot of safety things in place. So their, their plans, um, they had security and police on campus. Their classroom doors were supposed to be locked at all times. Um, but I read that the shooter walked in without any problems that uh, said the front door was propped open so he just was able to walk straight in and then it's I'm, I'm not sure about that individual classroom that he went in obviously it must have been open but um it said a lot of the teachers at that school choose to to leave their classrooms open yeah. because it's just an inconvenience when the students are having to go to the bathroom or whatever so yeah. i think their policy will probably 
Change. They'll be more aware of, okay, these, these policies are in place for a reason and yeah. we could have done a lot to prevent it. And, and I don't get it, like why they choose to uh, go after a school, uh, what make these, you know, the whoever yeah. doing the shootings, what make them do, go to a school rather yeah. than, you know, another place? What's the difference? I don't, we, we don't know their brain. How I, it, I think maybe because it causes more impact. <laughs> that's, I don't know. Yeah. Because it's children. Like, probably they cannot like defend themselves and yeah. they're more yeah. weaker than, yeah, the attacker. So I read that he, he had over 1600 rounds of ammunition, which is a lot and there were close to I think 400 rounds found at the school um, in the US you have to be 18 to purchase a gun and like I said he had just turned 18 um, it is gun rights are fought for here by most Americans because they believe that is their right and so the Second Amendment covers that it says you have the right to bear arms and people will fight for that yeah you know the the majority of americans i think do do own a firearm um yeah, yeah i think there is more firearms owned by people than anywhere in the else US. In the, yeah. yeah in the world so yeah that u.s ranks number one and i think it's more than the population of u.s like there is more guns oh, yeah. out here yeah. than per capita it says yeah. yeah u.s ranks number one per capita in the number yeah. of firearms so and we also rank number one in hom homicide. Yeah, and these people here, they never been anywhere, uh, you know, they they never, this is where they live, this is their home. So they used to that for hundreds of thousands of years, you know, hundreds of years. So they don't think anything different than that because I, I know a lot of uh, people back, you know, uh, they teach their kids how to use the firearms, yeah. they take them hunting. It's kind of like a family tradition, they teach them. And they want them to be comfortable using yeah, them. They teach safety. Safety, and, yeah, yeah. Because that's the parents are the one mostly teach about how to use the gun. So they they want them to be like around it. And they, I, I know that like from a few families yeah. that I, you know. Yeah, and even with Aleka when she was very little, we would teach her if we if we go to another home, you can expect someone else to have a gun in their home. So you have to, even if you don't have a gun in your home, you have to teach them. You know, not to touch it, not to touch it, or you know, if other kids are playing with it, you have to get away. Yeah. Um, yeah, because even though you may not have a gun, you're probably gonna go somewhere where their home does. Yeah. So, I have my notes here, so <laughs> if you see me looking down, that's why. Um, so for U.S. law, you can, um, it's prohibited to buy a far firearm if you're under the age of 18. Um, if you're a convicted criminal, mentally disabled, or dishonorably discharged from the military, you can't buy a, a weapon. Um, and they, there's no ban to buy a semi-automatic semi assault weapon. There's no ban. There's Anybody no ban, that? yeah. Um, it says there are like mandated background checks mm -hmm. for unlicensed people. Um, See, that's where I, you know, I grew up in a country where we don't have um, those kind of um, gun availability to own one. It's very hard to own a gun. Like if you want to go legal legally to apply for it, it's a long process. And to have one, um, a normal population don't ever own a gun in India. Mm -hmm. So from growing up like that, once you come here, that's that's one part like you struggle to understand, like why do somebody need like a... Uh, Why do you need an assault rifle? Assault rifle, like that can fire like 300 rounds. And mo some people say like, oh, that's kind of like a hobby that they like to go fire. So I would think like they need to have like a place that they can rent that uh, in a licensed secure place, go rent it and have the fun there. Like, and then, you know, just leave the weapon there and come back out. But I don't know why uh, this is so politicalized here. Yeah. Uh, the gun and the... Uh, it's, People get very offended here if you try to infringe on their gun rights. <laughs> yeah, because it's so politicalized. So yeah. that's what the main thing. They don't, they don't get along and come to a middle yeah. understanding. People think you are infringing on their rights. Yeah, either like you want one, and but they don't see that as like okay, why they don't ever. I don't ever hear they talking about like why do you want like this much of a like a assault yeah. weapon than just a, like a pistol. Yeah, um, they don't even talk about that. So I wanted to give a few of the U.S. St statistics. Um, 
in the U.S., we had 288 school shootings so far in 2022. Wait, so it's many? it's just now May, and there's been 288. Um, and it does rank number one in the world. And all the other countries in the world were in the single digits for their school shootings. So I think the next the next country, I can't remember which, had eight. So it was a massive difference in the number. Yeah. Um, and then, so a mass shooting is defined when four or more people are shot or killed. Um, in 2021, there were 693 mass shootings in the U.S. Um, like I said, the U.S. is ranked number one in guns per 100 residents. And in India, there's 4.2 4. 4. out of 100 people that own a gun. Yeah. In America, it's 88.8 people out of a hundred that yeah. own a gun but I, I i have to tell you this if in india uh -huh. if everybody has a gun down uh -huh. that death rate is going to be be really high very high because yeah. <laughs> you know if you fight with the neighbor or something the next mm -hmm. thing that you know is like yeah coming with the ak-47 mm -hmm. just shooting so everybody around and what are the what are the requirements to get a gun in india um, what's the law like what, how, how old do you have to be? You have to be eighteen here. At least twenty one, probably. Uh -huh. And then. And what are the reasons? What I know is who uses the guns is mostly farmers to protect their farmland. Mm -hmm. Or you have to be like show that you are under like um, a threat from mm -hmm. a wild animal or something like that's coming to you know, and they they need to protect their mm -hmm. them, their crops and family from them. I mm -hmm. think that's the only thing that they usually give guns. Other than I think the military people, they probably can have one because they, you know. Other than just normal uh, population, there is no way like uh, and to go through the loophole to own one. Mm. It's probably it takes a while. Take a while <laughs> and a lot of paperwork. But I have to say, like you can probably just go to the store, you know, go to the street and buy an yeah. illegal one. Yeah. You know, pretty yeah. If you have the money and same here. <laughs> yeah, you know, could do that. So, like I said, the U.S. is ranked number one in guns per. 100 residents. India ranks 105. So we're number one. India's 105. That, yeah. yeah. And then, of course, America's number one in deaths by gun violence. And India was not ranked at all. Yeah. It's just not even on the chart. <laughs> so what are your, what are your thoughts about an 18 year old buying a gun? Yeah, it's pretty, uh, even my family and the friends that I talked to recently after the shooting, they all, that's what they all, why, why they don't have any rules like yeah. to, for regular people to right. just to go buy that kind of assault weapon. And I think they, I haven't read anything yet where they've released the information about where he, where he bought it and the circumstances on that. But you would think that whoever sold him that gun, it would be be a big red flag for an 18 year old or one that just turned 18 coming in to buy two large assault rifles with a lot of ammunition like why would he need that <laughs> they're getting the money so they would they, would they don't turn care that yeah down. i think it said he spent like thirty five hundred dollars yeah they wouldn't turn that down they'd be like <laughs> oh, how does an 18 year old get thirty five hundred dollars yeah it's my business <laughs> you know that's their business so they try to get that money and they yeah. sell the yeah sell their product that's what they care about yeah so we'd like to know your guys thoughts please keep the comments respectful we're not trying to get in any kind of debate we yeah. just thought it was a good topic to bring up um it, it's very sad for the families i hate seeing the yeah. the pictures of the kids running out of the school and it's it's sad for not just the fa you know all the parents it's just like even like the people who read that stories it's yeah it break your heart just reading through that like because you know it could be your child at yeah, any time anybody anybody it could be anybody like you know it's not even just a school yeah. like anywhere um so leave us your thoughts leave some comments yeah. let us know what you think um we usually don't talk about any of these things but i don't yeah, know yeah we don't this. typically talk about controversial <laughs> subjects yeah. but uh, we, we kind of wanted to see the differences between india and the u.s which i kind of knew that was a big difference yeah <laughs> So Maggie did some research and looked it up and she's like, oh man, it's a big difference. Yeah. So that's why we, you know, sit down and talk about this today. So we hope you have a good day, guys. See you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Pinakana.